Oh, I didn't see you right there. Welcome to a new episode of Fix It Yourself. This video is being made for the owner operators out there that's basically going and purchase these trucks. You need to know how to do some of these jobs yourself, man. You cannot always give your money to the mechanics. So if you own an operator, just brought your new truck, at least on with a company, and I know you're just not going to jump and get your own authority, because that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time, and a whole nother video, actually. Um, but I'm going to show you today, on this episode, how to change out my alternator. Once I take the belt off, I have one, two, three, four screws that need to be removed. But before I remove those four screws, I have one, two lines that need to be taken off. So I'm going to take these two lines off, put them in the socket set, and after I take these two off, then you got one, two, three, four bolts in the alternator that's going to come right off. I'm going to snap, I'm going to cut these with a wire cutter, so I'm hooked from this pipe, basically for you to get a, get it off with no problem. And from there, put on a brand new alternator. First thing we're going to do is, this is your tensioner, basically. I have to use, I have to use a ratchet, basically, just the ratchet itself, and I have to move the fan, but which I already did, and sometimes, your, your ratchet piece, you might have to turn it to get it lined up with the hole. And once you, once you do that, let me see, press the button. Okay, got it. Now, get it backwards. Uh, that's like a jam. Hold on, let me get this way. There we go. See that? Now the belt can come right off. But you gotta keep in mind, if you don't know the pattern of the belt, you need to take a picture. That way, you could you could put the belt back on the way it came back up once, and you will do the same thing with the tension. So now I'm gonna take the belt off, and I'm gonna lap it right there. Done deal. Okay. Sometimes the bolts be kind of rusty and welded. So what you wanna do is get some of this spray right here. You know, it's corrosion. For if for, for rust bolts, you always wanna get something like this and spray it kind of help you out a lot dealing with this stuff but you ain't gonna do nothing with those but you gotta get these right here and I also found the sockets that I need I need a half inch for the bottom one for the, for the hot wire and I have a 3 8 socket for the ground let's go ahead and take them off ah it's kind of tight there but it's coming now sometimes you might want to disconnect from the battery you know because you don't want to touch metal why, why taking that off, but I know what I'm doing, I think. I'm, I'm just more than just a truck driver, I'm not a mechanic. But I ain't had a lot of trucks in the past, had some of the same problems, and I know how to research problems. Sometimes I call my mechanic, he gives me an ideal. I research the ideal, and start the cheapest way to solve the problem. Got that one. Now, I go to my, my quarter, my 3 8 socket, and, and take off the ground. You don't want to cut yourself every once in a while, so be prepared for that. Stay cut myself. Got your hot wire and you got your ground. Now all I gotta do is cut this, take those four bolts out, so you be ready to come up. Be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, went ahead and cut them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this on out. Make sure you have replacements because you need this to hold this belt in, in, in place, basically. Now I went ahead and already got my socket and my and my extension and my ratchet. I use a metric this time, it's a 16 millimeters, basically. And start off with the bottom one first. Uh, a little tough there, buddy. Uh, now, my solution for that. When it get a little tough, you got to get how to do it. Be right back. Now, this is what you call a gear wrench. So I went ahead and put the 16 millimeter on there, and I went ahead and basically, uh, I broke all, broke all my nuts, basically. Then, I ran across another problem. Right here, you got the bar, so I couldn't use the gear wrench. I had to use a little strength, and basically I broke that, that screw without having to get my socket. So I got all these broken. Now, I'm still heavy duty. Now I'm gonna take my socket wrench, take the extension, the, the half inch extension, put it on there, and go ahead and take all this off. Let's go ahead and get it done. Get on out of there. Ah. There you go, folks. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our alternator is a perfect match, basically. Okay, we need to turn this around. Okay, that fits. That's the same. 
Uh oh. I ran across one quick problem. When I saw this, I got a free. But then I realized, okay, this is not the original alternator. It's a universal alternator that can be used to replace this alternator. This is the universal part, basically. This is where I took the hot wire from. Put the hot wire here. This is where I took the ground wire. We got the screw for the ground. Other trucks might have a plug in. We don't use this. This plugs right in. So then I had to take it into the machine shop because you might have to use a machine to, to take this off that because I had to take this off this one and put it on this one because it didn't come with it. I didn't think about buying one. So then I had to use a, a gun, basically, to get it put on. So let's get this thing installed. Everything lines up perfectly. So I'm gonna let it rest a little bit. Get my first screw. You wanna get the one with the zip tie clamp on. Remember? Okay, stick it in there. And that's, I just took my, my extender and the socket. Once I get it lined up, uh, I can use. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this right there and use my hand first. Now, take this. This kinda help me out a little better. I'm gonna get the second one started. There we go. As you can see, I got all four in. Push it up. I got everything. Got the two top ones locked. Got that in place. Got to put the zip ties on the pipe once I put my hot and my ground wire back on. So we get this done. And this is what you call a lock washer nut. So basically, you need to put the cable on first. And wipe it off. Make sure no corrosion. Now you put the lock wash on, then you put the nut. The job for the, the purpose for the lock washer, when you tighten it, it pushes the lock washer together to where it, it's bending back towards the nut, like in another place. So you don't never have to worry about the nut vibrating loose. Once you have a lock wash on. Okay. Let's see if this happens. Butter, baby. Butter. Good butter. Don't have to be too tight. Now, got everything hooked up. Got all this hooked up and everything. I still got to put my zip ties around. I don't have the big zip ties, so basically I'm gonna put two on each side. That's gonna do the job for right now. And gonna go ahead and put the belt back on and zip tie and start on it. All right, there you go. She's on it. Easy job, done. You did it yourself. You go to the shop, get this done. They're gonna charge you the three hundred forty-six dollars plus twenty-five percent of um, part markup, which could be four hundred some dollars. They charge anywhere from ninety-five to one hundred twenty-five dollars an hour at a minimum of two hours, um, plus whatever else they might feel like they want to charge you for. So you just spend at least about eight hundred bucks, almost two thousand dollars easily, just to get an alternator installed at the truck stop or at the shop. And if you don't went to a Peter Bill, if you don't went to a big commercial shop. You lose downtime. As an operator, we don't have downtime to waste. We need to get out here and roll and make some money. If we ain't rolling, we ain't making no money. If we have to be in the shop for two days just to get something simple as an alternator and get charged all that money, man, you ain't making money. So, it's your boy, you do yourself, stick up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the zip ties and everything around the pipe. Hold that in place. See you next time. I'll let you go.